Hey guys, John V here with VR Source. So I'm checking out the Acer Mixed Reality headset. It was shown off here at Acer's press event in New York City. Unfortunately, they wouldn't let us shoot video of it, so you're just gonna have to take a look at these photos that I took, but I'll talk about my experience with it. I gotta say, I do like the design of the headset. It's pretty simple, intuitive, kind of reminds me of the Halo style with the PlayStation VR because there's just a single band that goes around your head. It's easy to adjust and you just put the display over your face and that is pretty much it. It doesn't have the sci-fi look. It has more of a sporty style with its blue and black paint job. Now they refer to it as a mixed reality headset, but in my demo, it made it feel more like a virtual reality one instead. So the difference here is that the tracking is all done within the headset itself. You don't need ancillary sensors like you do on the HTC Vive or the Oculus Rift. So there are two cameras on the front that are IR cameras and basically that establishes the boundaries so it knows when you're getting too close to a wall and also does all the tracking within the headset. So if I were to describe the experience I checked out, it's basically Windows 10 virtualized. What I mean by that is that instead of using Windows 10 on a PC or a laptop, you're brought into this home where you can access all the traditional apps you find on Windows 10 through the headset. So you're in a virtual Windows 10 experience. So for example, on the walls you have all the apps. You have a media player, you have the Microsoft Edge browser, you could surf the web. You have also the uh, weather app, so you could rearrange them, you can look around, um, and it's a home where you have access to all of them. So moving around is done one of two ways in this virtual home. The first, of course, moving around within your confined space. The headset tracks movement very well. It's responsive and I didn't feel sick. So if you step forward, step back, you, you stoop down, it's all tracked very well and accurately. The other method, of course, is the teleportation method. That's if you want to move from one area to a really far away spot, and it's done using an Xbox One controller. The other demos I checked out were pretty ordinary, I think, for a VR headset. For example, I had one where I was in the solar system. I could move around and see the Earth from all sorts of angles. I was also transported into a 360 video, so I could look around while going down on this ski slope. And the last experience I checked out was being transported to Machu Picchu. Got to see the entire view from this virtual place. And honestly, it's almost what you get on other VR headsets. What's really interesting is that the headset is more of a shell for this platform that Microsoft is making. So basically you're gonna have other headsets similar to this one, different price points of course, but they'll all do the same thing. And that's gonna give you this experience with this new Windows 10 platform. The nice thing though is at least the price point for this particular model is going to be pretty competitive. They say it's going to be $300 when it's released. No word yet on an exact time frame, but I guess it's going to be sometime in the near future. So if you guys want to learn more about the Acer Mixed Reality headset, you can check out our website, VR Source, your source for all kinds of reality.